This is Brian Gilliotti. Um, so I'm making my way to basically where I was last. And uh, on my way, I notice, once again, very strange wall construction. Um, for example, well, first of all, you can't help noticing the effort to make a, uh, a dip in the wall here. <clears throat> and it seems like uh, someone made the effort to impractically uh, prop up a very large slab of stone to emphasize the, uh, the diagonal dip on the uh, right side. And also the effort made to uh, create a diagonal dip on the uh, other side right here. I uh, shot an azimuth reading. Um, the only thing that makes sense to me is what's right up on the hill over there, which would be the Bedrock Boulder 1. And it's in a 45 slash, if I've got my math correct, 225 degree azimuth relationship. Um, that boulder there seems to be aligned in a 45 degree relationship with that wall dip over there. This is not the only alignment I've seen. Uh, there was another one, which I discussed in an earlier video. If I can find it. As you can see, there's a lot of impractical wall building here. There we go. Right here. This little dip right here also forms a 45 degree uh, access relationship with and I don't remember which one but with one of the stones uh, in the uh, calendar circle as I will call it that I uh, covered in the last uh, series of videos There's a lot of wall dips here There could be an azimuth relationship as well with that wall dip there and that stone over there. I'll find out later and um, share the results if they're interesting. Right there, that's also very interesting. Why would somebody have made the effort to uh, plop a flat stone on top right here. I'll shoot some azimuths and see if I can make any sense out of it. 